Hey guys, it's Justin, and today I want to bring a video on the sales commission tool that I've built and have been testing for multiple uh, Salesforce orgs. I built this software because I was experiencing a high need for companies that wanted to go and show commission data to their users and still have it live within Salesforce. Um, so I want to bring this to more people because I think that more businesses uh, probably have this problem. So a couple of things about um, the users and use cases for this software. Number one, there is a need slash want to integrate data between the sales team and the accounting team. And so the streamlined data makes it more transparent for sales users to see their commission as well as the accounting team goes and can calculate commissions not based off of when a sale is potentially um, said to have been made, but when a sale is actually paid and the bank hits the the money hits the bank account. Number number two, um, there is some sort of complex rules on how commissions are calculated, whether that's um, through product. Um, margin. So some products have higher margin, some products have lower margin, and there's a percentage that needs to be done there. Um, there's some sort of tiered system where um, sales users are incentivized with greater percentage uh, commission based on the volume that they sell. Um, or there's some sort of account-based rule where specific accounts need more or less commission um, based on you know, agreed upon deals or um, potential margin within that space. So with that, I want to cover some of the features and um, show how this could be helpful for, for you. Uh, and with that, uh, if you're interested, please um, fill out the form below and I will get in contact with you and um, try to help get this set up for your org. With that, couple things. Um, there's three main objects within the software. There's a quota object, a commission object, um, and there's also an attendance object, which I'll talk about later. For the quota object, this is where all of the sales data and commission data is um, contained within a given year. So the quota is an object that contains sales goals, so we can see the monthly quota for um, some sort of monthly goal that can change between month to month as seasons normally change from um, business is very seasonal oftentimes. So for instance, holidays is oftentimes very uh, hectic for consumer-based businesses, etc. So we can set goals based on the month. Um, we can set a standard commission rate, which is how many, um, just a, a easy, you know, X salesperson gets Y percentage, uh, but we can also do overrides. Um, the next section is we can see the revenue attributed to uh, sales users within given periods. Um, so you can see for this sales user, uh, 1950 was attributed for the month of January. And this can be done through multiple ways. Um, in this given org, it's done through through the close date, uh, but I've also seen this done through um, the invoice date as well as the ship date for um, some higher ticket items. Uh, the next section is the commission. Uh, so this is the rolled up commission of all of the um, all of the data. So you can see that um, there are commission percentages based on whatever rule that um, you can go and see. So some, some products have a commission override of a lower percentage uh, and some accounts have a higher percentage because of um, overrides. And it's all very flexible. And the last thing is the projected commission, which is a which is a um, 
again, a forecast of, of how, how, um, how much commission is, is um, allegedly going to be collected for a given user. Um, and this can be changed by, by multiple th things, but uh, in this org, it is controlled by the close date. Again, I've seen ship dates control a lot of this as well. So with that, the next thing I want to talk about is the ways that commission can be calculated. Um, there's three main ways that commission can be calculated. Uh, way number one is just the standard commission where you get a flat rate uh, for all um, you get a flat rate for all users and, and products. The next way, which I don't have pulled up, is the quota, is the, uh, the tiered system. So you can see here in, in this example, uh, this sales user has a different quota and uh, they have tiers. So we can see tier zero is um, a 1% commission rate. Tier one is a 5% commission rate up to um, that $700. Uh, and tier three is the um, minimum 700 and they get a 10% commission rate. So with this, you're able to incentivize sales users to sell based on, on volume. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is, is one of the overrides. Uh, so I'll give an example of this t-shirt. So let's say for instance, this t-shirt is a very low margin product. Uh, so we can reduce the commission rate because we don't want to go and sell, you know, because maybe a standard 5% is, is too much and we want to disincentivize um, this product being sold, etc. cetera. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is group commissions. Um, so here's an example campaign. Uh, the way that this can be set up is that campaigns um, can be used as kind of like trade shows, events, and when you have sales admins going and running, um, creating the uh, attendance, maybe you want, or going and creating deals, maybe you don't want to go and attribute um, a large trade show event where multiple sales reps are at an event to one specific person because of their account. Um, so we have this object called attendance. What this does is this allows a trade show to have a weighted commission uh, schedule based on the amount closed and, um, and gets attributed accordingly. So with that, let's also jump into the commission object. So with this, um, you can see that there is a couple different uh, things within a given commission. We can see the sales revenue. Um, this specific commission is set up by the opportunity product. Uh, you can also do it to the opportunity as well. Um, and we are working on the order, um, tying it to orders as well. But you can see for this commission, it is tied to the month of January. Uh, there's a sales revenue of uh, $40. This specific um, commission is two, $2 and um, there's some other uh, details here. So with that, uh, I think that uh, this is a good overview of the commission package that's been built. Um, this is in uh, a, a more beta stage. Um, but I want to bring it to people because I think that it can help people um, track commissions better. So if you're interested, please email um, email me and follow the links below. Uh, additionally, I would say one of the advantages of, of working with me specifically, me and my company, is that with this um, with this tool, I'm happy to uh, 
build some sort of functionality that may um, be required for your business. And that way it can encapsulate and better track your commissions. So with that, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.